Today we're recovering a chair seat. Come on in, welcome to my home. Today's a really easy project because I'm recovering a chair seat. Now projects like these are things that I love to do, but can't always do them because they're a little bit expensive to do. But this one was a great project because uh, my mother and I, we change out chairs. And so we can exchange these chairs and I'm covering this chair to match the chairs that she has in her kitchen or in her dining room. This is the chair seat. I have actually done some trying to clean it and everything, so the stains are pretty much set in there. They will not come off on the fabric which I have, which looks like this. If you're going to do this, remember, use a heavy duty fabric or something that you can easily clean, but use a fabric that you like. Now, the simple process of this, and this takes no time to do, really. You want to make sure that your fabric is just wider than what you need. So you make sure as you fold it over that it covers the edges, front and back. If it doesn't, you can see if you can switch it around. Maybe it'll fit better this way. There. Once you have your chair positioned, we're going to do something special. Because of this chair seat, the way that the f cushion goes, I'm going to start actually in the corners. And I am using a staple gun, which is an electric staple gun. You can use just a regular staple gun. I put a staple in one corner. Then I'm going to pull tight, but not really tight. I just want it so it covers and has no wrinkles. Put a staple in that corner, a staple in to this corner, and a final staple in this corner then you flip it over. You want to check and make sure that you have no major wrinkles. Okay, we're doing pretty good so far. Now the fun part. This is where it gets really easy. We're just going to staple. I'm starting in the middle and I'm going to work my way out to the edges. And I'm doing the middle of each side, making sure not to staple down what I don't want to staple down. All right, let's do our corners. On the original chair, it had just a simple fold on the corners. I'm going to try to repeat that. There, simple fold. Stapling that down to make sure I get that simple fold. If you're wondering what I'm going to do with the excess, I am going to cut it off. Let's do the other side. Remember, the front is the most important. Simple corner there. Simple corner here. Now is when we can pull and make sure that we take out all of those wrinkles. Now the back corner. <laughs> There's a cool thing about the back. In the back, I'm going to push the fold there. The back isn't going to matter as much because it'll be hidden. There we go. You want to put in enough staples to securely hold the fabric. I'm going overkill on the staples, but that's okay. Now, once this is all done, we're going to cut away the excess fabric. Once your fabric is cut away, and you can do a really much better job at this than I did, you get to see the front of it. Now all I have to do is attach it back to the chair. Once you have the chair seat all screwed back in place, that's it, you're done. You have a finished, really simple, really easy recovered chair. And you can change this out as much as you like. Just remember the simple things. Enough fabric to cover. I start in the corners on those simply because it just works. You want to work from opposites. From one corner to the opposite corner. From the other corner to the opposite corner. 
Once you start working in opposites, you'll then keep the tension nice and tight and not have as many wrinkles. As I've said before, this is not what I do professionally, but this is one of those fun things that you can do. It takes really no time. You can have your chair all ready to go, ready to, for you to use in no time. It's really simple. Now, if you'd like to see me do projects like this or even bigger, remember to check out my Patreon, which helps me do bigger projects like this and all sorts of things. If you do a project like this, let me know. You can get a hold of me on most social media down in the, down in the description below. Remember, it's at CM Coleman Home. And don't forget, I like to hear comments from you and I like to hear ideas that you'd like to see me do. I hope I get to see you again next time. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. You can share it. Don't forget to subscribe and check out the other videos on this channel. I love making these videos for you and I hope I get to see you again next time.